Hello there. Today I'll be talking about number. So what exactly is number? Well, it's not a number as such. Say one, two, ten, twenty-five, or even a hundred. No, it's not that. To keep things simple, it's a grammatical term. A classification of words depending on how many people or things are referred to. Basically, between one, meaning singular, and more than one, meaning plural. That's that. The subject of number concerns nouns, pronouns, determiners, and verbs. As you will notice, number is often shown by variation in the form of the word. Incidentally, the subject of a sentence and its verb must always agree in number. Now let's have a look. Cat, which is singular number. There is one cat. Cats, which is plural number. There are two cats. The personal pronoun he, as in he is standing, which is singular number. And the personal pronoun they, which is plural number. They are standing. The determiner, this, which is singular number, as in, this car is mine. This is mine, as the pronoun. And the determiner, these, which is plural number, as in, these cars are mine. Or, as the pronoun, these are mine. And finally, verbs. Works. Singular number, as in, he works hard, and work, plural number, as in, they work hard. As you could see here, the subject, he, and its verb, works, agreed in number, same with the other one, they, agreed with work. You couldn't say he work or they works. Let me say this again. The subject and its verb must be in agreement. And now going back to mouse and number. Cat, singular number. Cats, plural number, and that's a regular form. And children, which is still plural number, but that's an irregular form. In other words, singular number meaning singular form, and plural number meaning plural form. So now you have it.